What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. EA have released two new Road to the Final SECs. One of them is No Pain, No Gain for a UCL three player pack. Bear in mind guys, a lot of people don't remember this. This is a three player pack, but it's one UCL rare. So it's two dead UCL cards, three leagues, four clubs. Maximum from one club is four, two rares, 80 rated. So you're trading in an 80 rated squad for one UCL rare player. That is not worth it, in my opinion, right? Obviously, people are just going to do this um, just because they will. And it will, you know, it will cost like 7, 8, 9, 10K. You're very unlikely to get your money back out of it. Uh, so I'd steer clear of that personally. And then they've also given us Ibrahima Konate from uh, Leipzig. Obviously, a Bundesliga player. Now, there's a lot to be pleased with with this card first of all six foot four it has high high work rates but it doesn't really matter for center backs i've I've not i've used a lot of center backs this year already and work rates seem to be utterly irrelevant for center backs uh he's six foot four with really good pace uh, and very nice defending and physical his stand tackle slide tackle is great his strength is great his agility and balance isn't terrible for a guy who's six four with that kind of pace his passing is quite good Two things I don't really like about this card. First of all, his reactions uh, aren't ideal. And reactions, in my opinion, on centre-backs are really, really valuable, really important. And then also his uh, defending awareness and interceptions are relatively low. Now, I would assume that people will go for anchor chem styles on Konate rather than shadows. Um, and an anchor gets him up to 85 interceptions and 88 defensive awareness. Obviously, if you were going to fork out and put the shadow on him, he gets 90 interceptions and still only 88 awareness, but gets like rapido pace. He'll be, a, he'll be a machine, right? He'll be a tank. I think there's no two ways about that. His reactions are a little low for my liking. The, the problem I have, the main problem I have with this card is, first of all, how much it's going to cost you because it's 284 rated squads with one in form. And based on Gomez SBC, an 84 rated squad right now is about 80, sorry, 45,000 coins. Um, and so an 84 rated squad with an inform is likely to be somewhere closer to 50 to 55,000 coins, uh, which puts this SBC up there at about 100k. And you might think 100k for that card, he's almost guaranteed an upgrade. Uh, Red Bull Leipzig are in a great position in their group. They're probably going to finish first. If not, they're only they're five points clear with two games to go. They, it would need to be a catastrophe for them to not go through. So he is very much looking forward to getting that up first upgrade. And of course, he will upgrade to an 84. So we'll get probably a plus two, maybe a plus three in some areas, you know, up to 83 pace, 86 defending, 84 physical, somewhere around there, which again will make him a super, super card. The issue I have with the price, the price itself isn't much of an issue. Um, the, the problem is, is that the market is so low right now that you can you can purchase, for example, uh, Longley, uh, another French centre back for 73,000 coins. You can purchase uh, Hernandez from uh, Bayern Munich for how much is he? He's like 8,000 coins and a very, very similar card before an upgrade to this Konate. 81 pace versus 81 pace. 83 defending versus 83 defending. Hernandez has 82 physical versus the 81 here. Hernandez has much better uh, overall passing. Shooting is largely irrelevant and much better dribbling on Konate, of course. Um, but yeah, the agility and balance is 70 and 68 on Hernandez, 71 and 60 on Konate, uh, with much better reactions on Hernandez up at 85. So even in the Bundesliga for a French centre-back, You've already got a viable option in Hernandez, who has a live item already with the one to watch card, of course, which is going for 52k, which is I think he's injured, right? So he's not not like looking to get any upgrades anytime soon. And that that for me kind of puts it into perspective that if you're paying for a hundred thousand coins for this card, give or take, maybe you've got some untradeable cards that you can use in him, for example. Um, maybe you just like this card. Maybe you've got a French team. Maybe you've got a Bundesliga team. You want to link in with Mbabu, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, happy days, right? We've got some good options out there that you can link him with. You can make this quite a, you know, you, you, you're basically guaranteed an upgrade on him, which I think we do have to take into consideration. So then the last thing we look at is what are the packs in return? And the first one is a prime mixed players pack. EA are doing absolutely nuts things with the pack reward from SBCs right now, and I don't quite understand it. A Prime Mixed Players pack is four gold, four silver, and four bronze cards. 
and only six of them are going to be rare. So the chances of you even getting a rare gold is relatively slim as it is. And then the other pack is a premium gold players pack, a 25k pack. And when we look at like Gomez SBC as well, the packs in return are just diabolical. An Electrum players pack, which is one rare, six gold, six silver. A premium mixed players pack, which is three rares and four bronze, silver and gold. And then a rare gold pack for an 85 rated squad, which is one of the worst packs for value in the game. So for me, this is definitely an, an SBC that I would be wary of. You're going to have to wait for the first upgrade, which comes in the middle-ish of December. So when you think, oh, he's going to get an upgrade though, man, like, you know, 100k, no bother. You should, you should go for that for the 100k. You're going to have to wait a full month before he gets his upgrade, right? The, that's, that's first things first. Then you're going to have to wait until at least january if uh, maybe february when champions league comes back for him to get the second upgrade and obviously red bull aren't necessarily the greatest squad out there so for him to win the first game and then qualify for those next two upgrades not even that likely so he's going to be capping out at most likely an 84 probably at best an 86 and that that again for me makes me feel like this just isn't really worth it um sadly he have released nothing by way of new season objectives or new milestones it's all still exactly the same as it was before. We will get into some promo packs uh, if they're there. Of course, they're there. Why wouldn't they be? What have we got today? Mega packs, seven prime golds. Um, because I, 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 I am going to do Canate on this account because obviously we have, uh, this is the pay to win account. I want these kind of cards just on the off chance that Red Bull do uh, like amazing things. And he goes real far, gets up to like an 88, 89 card. All of a sudden, you're going to be looking at one of the best right backs in the game. Sorry, best center backs in the game. No question about it. And like I say, if you're putting together like a good base team from every league for objectives down the line, this is a good option. You know, an 82, pretty much guaranteed to go up to an 84. He's a decent card. He links with that free and Babu that you could have gone and picked up and, and like obviously plenty of other cards um, that we've uh, that we've had along the way from, what, what from Bundesliga we've had? Player Month Lewandowski, maybe you picked him up. Player Month Harriet, maybe you got him. You could link him in. Not that I did that Harriet. I didn't even do that Harriet on this account. I thought it was such bad value. We have got a walkout here, which is nice. It's going to be Christian Eriksen. So uh, nice 88. He's a duplicate as well, isn't he? He was like going for like 40k or, or so when we looked at him yesterday. Uh, so that's not too bad. That, that will pay for half of um, half of the SBC. Let's see if the SBCs come up in price yet. And, and I, I need to go out of my way and go and buy some 84s and 85s and 86s and stuff to, to make sure that we can get the, uh, the benefits here. But he's actually coming in initially... At 110,000 coins. That's... It's a lot. It's a lot, you know? It's easy to make coins this year. And obviously, EA are giving out players like crazy. But 110,000 coins. I would be wary on this one, guys. Like I say, I, I think if you're putting together a squad from every league, go get him. 100k. Guaranteed at least one upgrade. That's probably it. Packs are okay not amazing um go for it right however if you're looking at um if you're looking at trying to just improve your team in general save your coins go and buy something that's going to work better for you because it will be better for you um so we're getting boards out of all of these which is quite nice 85 rodri is really nice that's actually going to help with um building one of the squads quite comfortably should have gone and bought some players, like I said. We're going to have to... What, what's the chemistry situation like on these? 75 chem on one, 70 chem on the other one. It's quite a lot, isn't it? We've got another board out of that one, another Spanish board. So hopefully another 85. Iago Aspas or something like that would be quite nice right here. It's Canales 84. That's not bad. So we've got a couple of cards that we can use um, out of those packs right there. So let's get into, uh, into the SBC and see if we can do it nice and quickly. I don't want to be... Uh, sitting around here for far too long what do we got uh Konate here and let me know in the comment section guys what you think about this uh this SBC do you think this is good value do you think this is terrible value are you going to do it does it look semi-tempting to the point where you're like oh maybe I should uh let me know what what you guys are going to do um let's get these let's get these players I'm going to I'm going to use just one big player that I don't care about oh there you go PK he can go in uh, we've got a fair few Spaniards, actually, that we can use now as well. So PK, we've got Isco. Uh, what else we've got laying around here? Gareth Bell is a lone item. Rodri. Oh, Ibrahimovic in there as well. We've got some more 85s floating around. So at least for the first one, we'll be able to put together um, a relatively nice squad that Canales can go in. Wouldn't even be opposed. If that Hernandez Blue is untradeable, I might use him as well. 
he is untradeable. So I don't mind using the untradeable blues. You know, I know he's worth about six, seven, eight K on the market, but um, it doesn't really matter all that much. We need a French player. I think we already had some anyway. Um, let's let's have a look what we can do with this. Let's get Felipe Anderson in there. We've got some good Premier League and Spanish links available. Uh, let's pop him in there. Once we get in uh, Isco and Rodri and PK, we're actually going to be in a great spot here to just fill out the rest quite comfortably. 75 chemistry needed. Uh, let's get Canales in there as well. Let's swap those two around there. No, nope. hello. Can we have Isco? Jesus Christ. What is? How difficult is that? Uh, and let's actually swap uh, these. Let's swap PK over this side. Uh, let's pop Casillas in goal, another Spaniard, and let's put Kepa in at left centre back. Uh, that's already 66 chemistry. Let's throw in Miranda. Gets up to 67 chemistry. We're already 81 rated now as well. We'll look for a Premier League right mid. Should we have one? Pepe, I'm obviously not going to use. Let's, let's chuck Pedro Leon in there just for the time being. That puts us up to an 83 rated. So we're actually in, in good spot, in a good spot, a real good spot. I, I have a feeling. Uh, pretty much any left back is going to kill this over. Yeah, there we go. So nice and easy done there for the first set. A prime mixed players pack. Can you believe it? Um, let's go and get it open. Wait, have they got any player packs here as well? No, sometimes they put like uh, election player packs in the store and stuff. But yeah, prime mixed players pack. Guys, I'm telling you, man, whether or not we get lucky in this pack, because you just never know with packs, sometimes it is luck. Whether or not we get lucky, which we have got a board from it, um it doesn't matter like this is just such a bad pack we're going to get hopefully as Berkey rather than Sommer um but another nice car coming in no matter what it's actually a kanji of all players um but look at that guys three of my rares are bronzes one of my rares is uh silver it's just not worth it's, it's such a terrible pack and they, they've done that a lot over the the last week or so putting uh just really really bad players in packs and I can't really for the life of me figure out why uh, right, let's go to the Bundesliga. We are going to need an inform out of this one. Um, I don't know if I have... I have ha uh, Havertz. Let's pop Hernandez in there. Let's get Kramaric in there. Kanji I don't really want to use. Surely we've got some other good players in there. I don't mind using all of these guys as well. As I say, I know that they're um, they're untradeable for most of my blues. I don't really have many tradable blues on here. So Bundesliga players can go in. We'll fill out the rest of the Bundesliga with a couple of the high-rated cheap players. Um... Delaney can go in there. Uh, Kramaric can come down into the cam spot. And then Hernandez can go in there. So um, if we just go for perhaps like an Isco again, actually, let's go and get ourselves, we'll go for some La Liga players. We can go for Isco. Um, I'll see like 10, 10K maybe. Yeah, maybe a bit cheaper. Oh, it wasn't that much cheaper actually. Yeah, he's, he's about 10K, 10.5K. So I'll pick Isco up and uh, pop him in. Um, in at right back, we'll go and get Kappa, the um, the new right back in form, because he's very, very likely to be somewhere around the 12k mark. Maybe a little bit more now because he's needed. He's actually quite a useful card, so maybe even a little bit more. There you go. So we'll pick him up for 15k uh, and throw him in there. Let's get any old left back to put in. Um, <clears throat> in fact, let's get a centre back. Might even put that Kanji in. Since he's from the same league, isn't he? Could put let's put Rom Romagnoli in there. Uh, we need seventy chemistry. We're nearly at seventy chemistry. So if we get a La Liga centre back, I just want to have a look at what we need for the rating and a La Liga right mid or right wing or whatever. Let's pop Suso in there because he's Spanish. That takes us up to an eighty-two. Let me just have a look at what we're going to need for the rating here to finish this off. Is an eighty-five going to be enough? No. So it's going to need to be an eighty-six. No. It's going to need to be an eighty-seven. Um, which is, uh, who's, who who might be one of the cheaper 87s from the league? Let's just check that it is an 87. Surely I would know it's not. It's going to need to be an 88. Yes, so we're going to go and get PK. Um, so there you go. That'd be a nice little, uh, nice little easy setup there. And the 88s, I think they're not even that expensive again. They're like 18, 20K, aren't they? 20.25, yeah, look at that. I mean, they're really not too bad at all. Uh, let's just pick that PK up right there. And pop him in, and that should give us a chemistry too. Indeed, it does by two points. Gives us a premium gold players pack, and Ibrahim Konate uh, in general is there. Now, the prices have settled uh, just a little bit, and he's coming in at 101,000 coins. As I say, there is a lot of positives for this card, especially if, you're, if you play a lot of FIFA and build towards objectives and 
you know, let's say you wanted to do the Mbabu, he would have been nice and helpful. Let's say you do the icon swaps, he could be nice and helpful. If EA require a first owner French team, all of a sudden he's relatively useful. He has a lot of positives in terms of gameplay. Um, and he's all but guaranteed an upgrade. Uh, but the price, for the price, you can buy Hernandez or Longley or Mtiti in terms of French centre-backs, Laporte if you wanted him. And you're not too far off, specifically on Xbox, uh, Varane, in my opinion, one of the best centre-backs in the game again this year, is only about 160k and tradable, of course. So you can get those coins back if you wanted. Uh, whereas with Canate, once you've dumped those coins in, that is just it. You are you are done with that. So there, there's some positives and some negatives for this SBC um it, i suppose it depends on a case-by-case -case basis whether or not he fits your account and fits your needs or not and that's where we're at with that so we get another board out of this one no walkout however it's going to be a spanish board and that's never going to be a cdm hopefully another 85 rodri there not javi martinez oh even worse he'll so there you go that guy's going to be the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time i'm out peace